Hello kids! Tayo ngayon ay nasa week 5 na ng Mathematics 6. At ating pag-aaralan ang multiplication of numbers with two decimal place factors. For our introduction, after going through this module, ikaw ay inaasahang makakapag-multiply ng decimals and mixed decimals hanggang dalawang decimal places. Sa pag-multiply ng decimal sa isa pang decimal, ikaw ay parang nag-multiply lang ng whole numbers. Sa paglalagay ng decimal point sa product, kailangan mo lang kuhanin ang kabuoang bilang ng decimal place sa bawat factor. Example, Sophia spent 5800 hours sewing an apron and 300 times as much to put the finishing touches on it. How long did it take her to do the finishing touches? Step 1. Multiply by the hundreds. Remember that digit in hundreds place ay nasa ikalawa after the decimal point. So let's multiply by hundreds. 58 hundreds times 3 hundreds. So unahin natin yung 8 times 3 and that will be 24. Carry 2. 5 times 3, 15 plus 2 is equal to 17. Then carry 1. 0 times 3 plus 1 is equal to 1. So we have a partial product which is 174. Step 2. Multiply by the tenths. So we have a partial product here na 174. So sa tenths tayo, remember that the tenths place ay nasa unang digit after the decimal point. So 0 times 8, 0. 0 times 5, 0. And 0 times 0 is 0. Step 3, multiply by the ones. So, ang ones natin dito ay makikita ninyo sa first digit bago ang decimal point. Ones ay nasa whole number. So, 0 times 8 is 0. 0 times 5 is 0. And 0 times 0 is 0. For step 4, Add the partial products. So, ang partial product natin dito ay 174, 3 zeros, and 3 zeros. So, kailangan lang yung itong i-add. Then, you will be having 0, 0, 1, and 7, 4. So, the next one that you have to do ay bilangin kung ilang decimal place ang meron kayo sa multiplicand and multiplier. So, you have first uh, two decimal places sa first factor and the second factor is two decimal places. pag a nyo lang ang decimal places for you to identify kung saan nyo ilalagay ang decimal point sa inyong final product. So, that will be four decimal places. So, you have to count from right to left, apat na decimal places. So, Dalagay nyo rito sa 0 0.0174 or you can read it as 174 Therefore, it took Sophia 174 ten thousands R to do the finishing touches on the apron. Para sa inyong learning task 1, put the decimal point in the correct place at 0 if needed. Write your answer in your notebook or in your answer sheet. Sa learning task na ito, hindi nyo kailangan mag-multiply. Ang kailangan nyo lamang gawin ay ilagay ang tamang decimal point sa inyong product. So, for number 1, you have 31,160. For number 2, is 131,242. For number 3, is 35,568. For number 4, you have 4,000. And for number 5, 38,674. Halimbawa, ang imum nakalagay na imum multiply ay 1 and 20 hundreds times 2 and 32 hundreds. So, ang, ang magiging sagot dito ay 27,840. So, since ang decimal places o number ng decimal places para sa inyong first factor ay 2 decimal places and the second factor is also 2, so, yan ay apat na decimal places. 
So, mangyayari, ang decimal point nyo ay we have to move it from the right to left ng apat na beses. So, your final answer is 2 and 7,840 10 thousands. We are now on development part. And in this part, tayo ay magmumultiply na ng decimals. Sa pagmumultiply ng decimals, meron tayong sinusunod na iba't ibang steps. Step 1, ignore the decimal points and multiply as if they are whole numbers. Halimbawa, ang number natin imumultiply o ang factors na ating imumultiply ay 4 and 32 hundreds times 1 and 25 hundreds. So, tulad ng ginawa natin kanina, i-multiply lang natin muna ay ang nasa hundreds place ng decimal places. Then, second one is in the tenths place, that will be 864. At ang panghuli natin sa example na ito ay ang nasa ones place na nasa whole number, and that will be 432. Then, pag nakuha din natin yung partial product natin, atin itong kukuhanin o kukuhanan ng sum, and that will be 54,000. So, makikita nyo sa halimbawang ito, nagmultiply lang tayo ng decimal numbers na para bang tayo ay nagmumultiply lang ng whole number. Pansamantala, muna natin inignore o hindi pinansin ng ating decimal point. For step 2, Place the decimal point in the product based on the total number of decimal places in the factors. So, ilalagay na natin ngayon yung decimal point sa ating product base sa kabuang bilang ng decimal places ng ating factors o yung ating pinagmultiply. So, kanina ang ating factors dito ay 4 and tong first factor natin ay 4 and 32 hundreds at 1 and 25 hundreds. So, sila ay may 2 decimal places, yung first factor natin. Second factor natin is 2 decimal places din. With the total number of decimal places in the factors, which is 4 decimal places. That is why, bibilang tayo ng apat mula sa kanan. 1, 2, 3, and 4. And that will be the place of your decimal point. Ang apat mula sa Kanan. Para sa step 3, kapag ang i-multiply naman natin ay decimal sa whole number, ang bilang ng ating decimal place sa product ay kapareho ng decimal place natin or decimal number natin sa decimal factor. So sa ating halimbawa, ang pinag-multiply natin ay 4 and 32 hundreds at 25 na siya namang ating whole number. So, ang ating partial product ay 2,160 and 864. Then, ipagpa-plus natin yung dalawa o yung ating dalawang partial product. So, ang ating final product ay 108. So, paano nangyari na dalawa ang inyong decimal places? So, makikita ninyo na ang first factor natin ay decimal number na i-multiply natin sa whole number. Ang decimal place natin ay dalawa at sa whole number, syempre siya ay whole number, kaya zero ang decimal places with a total of two decimal places. So, from the right, no, tandaan, count the number of decimal places from the right. So, one, two. That is why our final answer here is 108. You are now on your learning task to find the product. Write your answer in your notebook or in your answer sheet. For number 1, 3 and 53 hundreds times 1 and 25 hundreds. Number 2, 2 and 32 hundreds times 2 and 31 hundreds. Number 3, 2 and 42 hundreds times 1 and 56 hundreds. Number 4, 85 hundreds times 54 hundreds and number 5 15 hundreds times 55 hundreds we are now on engagement part and this time you are going to do learning task 3 find the product write your answer in your notebook or in your answer sheet sa learning task 3 ang imumultiply ninyo 
ay ang decimals by a whole number. So, alalahanin yung unang bahagi ng ating pinagtalakayan kanina lamang kung paano minumultiply ang decimal sa whole number. For number 1, 3 and 25 hundredths times 8. For number 2, 3 and 71 hundredths times 9. Number 3, 4 times 13. For number 4, 8 and 30 hundredths times 25. And for number 5, 3 and 24 hundredths times 36. You are now on your learning task 4. Answer the following. Number 1, how many decimal place or places is or are the product of 345 thousandths and 6 tenths? So, ilang decimal place ba magkakaroon kayo? Kung ang inyong i-multiply ay 345 thousands and 6 tenths. So, alalahanin, ano nga ba ang paraan kung paano natin makukuha yung bilang ng decimal place? So, maaaring nyo balikan yung video natin kanina kung paano nakukuha ang total number of decimal place sa ating product. For number 2, the product of two decimal numbers is 20 and 62 thousands. One of the factors has two decimal places. How many place or places has the other factor? So, ang product daw na dalawang decimal number ay 20 and 62 thousands. So, makikita nyo meron tayo dito ng tatlo. Kung ang unang factor ay may dalawa, Ilan kaya decimal place ang mayroon sa isa pang factor? For letter B, solve the given problems. Write your answer in your notebook or in your answer sheet. For number 1, a beach house rents for 1,550 pesos and 50 centavos a day. How much will Mr. Sebastian pay if his family stays for 5 days? Kung isang beach house ay naaakilahan ng 1,550 pesos and 50 centavos kada araw, magkano kaya ang kailangang bayaran ni Mr. Sebastian kung ang kanyang pamilya ay maglalagi roon ng limang araw? For number 2, a group of 10 players at lunch at the restaurant. An average of 138 pesos and 25 centavos per person, how much did the party spend for lunch? Ang isang grupo na mayroong sampung manlalaro ay kumain ng tanghalian sa isang restaurant. Kung ang average na kailangan bayaran kada tao ay 138 pesos and 25 centavos, magkano kaya sa palagay ninyo ang nagastos para sa kanilang tanghalian? For number 3, a jeweler had 6,500 grams of gold. He used 6 hundredths of this for a pair of earrings. How much gold did he use if he made 3 pairs of earrings? So, kung ang isang jeweler ay may 65 grams of gold at ang nagamit niya ay 6 hundredths of this para sa isang pares, ilang ginto o ilang gold ang kanyang nagamit kung siya ay nakagawa ng tatlong pares ng mga hikaw? Kung madali ninyong nasagutan ang mga learning tasks sa linggong ito, good job kids! Ipagpatuloy nyo ang inyong nasimulan.